was popping socialites. Welcome back to another episode of Social Climate. You know what I'm talking about? I'm your host, Billy Cash. Shout out to all the subscribers. Shout out to everybody that click like on my videos. Shout out to everybody that shares my videos. And shout out to everybody that click dislike on my videos. We love the haters too. Now, on this episode right here, oh, we're talking about a pedophile. But we're talking about a new wave pedophile, not R. Kelly. We're talking about a guy who used Fortnite games to actually meet young women online and lure them to his home with his girlfriend, who is probably underage too. You know what I'm talking about? This is nasty on a whole nother level. Social climate. Let's get it. This podcast is brought to you by niggas who are generally concerned with most of the dumb shit that's going on right now. By the way, I'm your host, Billy Cash, a.k.a. Cole, and welcome to Social Climate. Socialites, let me tell you, you're looking at you looking at Anthony Thomas, 41 years old, of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Broward County. Now, he has been arrested for sending lewd texts back and forth over the game Fortnite to a 17-year-old girl. Now, he coerced a 17-year-old girl to come back to his home with another young lady who might be under age two. Now, I'm personally going to say this is some nasty shit. Now, at the same time, if you want to live out your high school days, you could, you need to go and seek out your high school friends. Don't do this with underage people. This means that you're a pedophile and you're nasty and you have a problem. Now, I'm going to show you some video on this. And trust and believe, I'm coming back. Social climbing. Be the cash. I'm out. First at 11, a South Florida man arrested, accused of using a video game to prey on children. Authorities know of one victim. They're concerned there could be many more. It's a major warning for parents since investigators say the plot relied on the ultra popular game Fortnite. The suspect accused of luring at least one teen for sex and most of the details just revealed in court documents are simply too explicit for television. CBS 4's David Sutta has much more now on this safety alert. He's live at BSO headquarters tonight with our top story at 11. David. Yeah, this is definitely a wake-up call for parents. The Fortnite game is extremely popular amongst teenagers and younger children. The Broward Sheriff's Office tonight saying that you need to pay attention to what your kids are looking at and playing because this is where sexual predators are now going. Broward deputies arresting 41-year-old Anthony Thomas, charging him with 22 counts of child pornography and sexual activity with a minor. Investigators spelling it out in this 17-page report how Thomas preyed on a 17-year-old starting in August. It started on the popular game Fortnite. Thomas and his 23-year-old girlfriend befriending a young girl who was playing the game. Most games nowadays have chatting applications in them or, or um, voice over, over the uh, games themselves. And obviously children are on these, on these gaming systems and so predators prey on children anywhere they are and they, gaming platforms are one of them. Sergeant Tom McInerney with the Internet Crimes Against Children Unit says the relationship escalated quickly. Thomas began sending gift cards and a cell phone to the girl who lives in Brevard County. That cell phone would capture explicit conversations and photos, most of which we cannot show you. In one text, Thomas allegedly wrote, quote, I want to have sex before you're 18. I'm asking you to come here. Do you want to spend the night with me tomorrow? Yes, I do, she replies. A day later, Thomas dropped and picks her up and brings her back to Broward, where investigators say the two had sex. Detectives caught on after the teenager's parents reported her missing, a deputy spotting her and bringing her in for questioning. Both Thomas and the victim denied having a sexual relationship, but their phones told a different story and a very graphic story at that. Even after the girl returned home, Thomas seeming to brag, writing, quote, I got you sending me nudes and videos after the cops and your parents forbid it, so I know you're hooked. Investigators eventually got all the evidence they needed to make the arrest. Now they are warning parents to pay attention. Teach the kids uh, what, the, what they can put out over the internet, over these gaming systems, what privacy information, don't give their names, don't give their addresses, don't give their schools they go to. Watch what you put out on there. Um, certainly need to stay vigilant. It's unclear if Thomas's girlfriend is going to be charged in this as, a comp, as an accomplice. Detectives are looking into the possibility that she too may be a victim in all of this. In Fort Lauderdale, David Sutter, CBS 4 News, tonight. Older men love younger women. It's on record. You know what I'm saying? You can see Hugh Hefner. You can see Jerry Lee Lewis. You can see Elvis Presley. You know what I'm talking about? You can see R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Older men love younger women. 
Now, at the end of the day, you got to be a scumbag to be 41 years old and reach back to a 17 year old girl. This is crazy. And this is what Anthony Thomas did. He reached back too far back. And then he used the medium that all the kids are using a Fortnite game. You know what I mean? This is so crazy. I love to laugh and joke about people and talk about all the dumb shit that people do. But this is some of the dumbest shit that I've ever seen before. And this is some of the scummiest shit that I've seen before, too. And I know it's crazy for a young girl because she's competing against older women. She's competing against the teachers, the teachers who are 34 and 24, going back and trying to have sex with the, the high school students that she see are, who are athletes. You know what I mean? It's crazy. I can't really have no secure medium in between because all of it is scummy. All of it is sick. You know what I mean? But this social climate. And we talk about this sick, dumb ass shit that people do. You know what I mean? Anthony Thomas. Man, I hope this man gets what he deserves. You know what I'm talking about? Put underneath the jail house. And as always, be careful and stay prayerful. I'm out. Click like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. Yeah.